be our smallest aircraft of the day here, Rob. Uh, it certainly it, it makes its original debut in 1939 before World War II. So this plane is the oldest one to fly in the Thunder Fleet, at least. Yeah, I think they were flying this when you were in high school, right, Doug? Is that not the... Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, my God! <laughs> yes, and I was tweeting back then. <laughs> so, yeah, so you talk about KC-135 big aircraft. The Taylor craft here today is flown by uh, Nick Coleman. He's a retired colonel from the Kentucky Air National Guard, and he is quite an aerobatic uh, champion. Oh, uh, my gosh. Sorry, that pushover just scared me a little bit. He just really cut it off right there at yep, the top. Yep, that's right. And he's able to go out, and this is the second of the aerobatic acts that we're going to see today, as he will do loops and rolls and repositions uh, with the Taylor craft. And the wings are a little bit shorter than a normal Taylor craft, which is makes this a bit of a modified design so that he can pull the G forces, both positive and negative. And Haley, when he did that pushover, he was doing a negative G there. Yeah. That's uh, if you've ever been on a roller coaster and uh, you, know, you get light in the seat, you're going into the negative G category. Now, Nick told us in an interview, he said, I roll upside down, I make sure the smoke is on, and then I wag the wings. You see him doing that there, and that's my wave. I'm waving at the crowd. So Nick today is waving to us. He says it's a different world when you're flying aerobatics at 1,500 feet versus coming down to 500 yeah. feet. Oh, he might be a little lower than 500 feet today. <laughs> too, but he rolls upside down in that initial thing because what he wants to see is if there's anything loose in the cockpit, right? <laughs> I mean, it, it's called a FOD check, a foreign, ob foreign object uh, debris check uh, that you'll do to make sure there's nothing floating around because uh, you don't want to be distracted or have something jam your flight controls when you're flying.